talking dick. I told them niggas, I don't want to do a song with you. I'm a heavy on the race K, nigga. You know that. Suck my dick, nigga. And you can't come to New York ever again. Now you ever, ever, you're slammed out. It's over. Suck my dick, Kodak. Suck my dick. Fuck you, took them all. You shot. Where do my dad? Niggas know my body. Can't come to New York. Fuck is you took them all, nigga. I never wanted, I never wanted to do it. Every time they told me, yo, do this shit, I said, no, no, I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to do it. Where did my dad I never wanted to I do this? I never wanted to do that. You on my dick. I don't even know you. I never seen you. You know the vibe. Don't come to New York. You already know what happens to you when you come to New York. Yeah. Part two. <laughs> Part two. Part two. Part two. You already know what happens to you when you come to New York. Right. Stop it. Whoa, whoa. Niggas be crazy. Niggas be on my dick. Why you on my dick? Off the wake up. Why you on my dick? <laughs> nigga, 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 nigga. What's the leaky commentary? He said, I already seen this coming. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, hope that sniper gang shot. Heavy sniper gang to my dick. FGK, you <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> nah, niggas be day one. I, I don't even know you, kid. You could suck my dick. You could personally suck. I don't know you, but you could personally suck my dick, though. Fuck right. you, took him on. Slack. Fuck cause you took him on, nigga. Niggas kept trying to make me squash it with tutu. He niggas know what's going on. He know what's going on too. Fuck you, took him on, man. Uh, niggas know what's going on. <laughs> niggas be trying to make me do a verse with niggas. All types of shit. <sighs> niggas be killing me. Word of bro, niggas know what's going on. Heavy on that. Heavy on that. Don't get knocked out again. Don't get put out. <laughs> Stop it. Don't come to New York, boy. Don't come to New York. Your watch gonna get took again. Don't do that. Niggas, niggas, niggas gonna take your watch. We and this time niggas gonna take your chain. Word of my mother, mother niggas call me Covenant. I said that Two two G's call me Covenant, right around. No, oh, that's what I'm gonna say. Where did my dad? I'm not even gonna talk. Damn. Where did my mother? Nigga, he was stolen during his own means for that. Nigga feature. was stolen during his own means to get a feature with me. Yeah, you was. And you know I'm the black door. Fuck you, took him out, nigga. Suck my dick. Suck my dick to my dick. Y'all start loving my city. I love the bros. Everybody want to light it on y'all niggas. Y'all niggas can't come out here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> y'all niggas is stupid. Oh, nah, nah, I need to cut. Suck my dick. Fuck is you talking about? Nah, yeah, niggas is good. niggas is having fun with this. Y'all niggas really laughing. Niggas is yeah, niggas is laughing about this one. Niggas is sucking. Nah, dick. how you wake up and eat a nigga dick up like? Why you wake up sucking a young nigga dick? You sucking my dick? I don't even know you. Fuck is you talking about? I don't know you, boy. Ice up, ice up when you come to New York. <laughs> ice up, bro. I'm telling you. And your little and all too. We can't come to New York either. Don't, don't. don't. I know shit low. It's your boy Best, and you would think when you get into the rat game, your life's supposed to be going up, and you're supposed to be worried about million dollar deals, and separating yourself from the streets. But these rappers have been taking this for granted. How the heck can someone doing a song with someone turn to a verbal death threat? You hear how that sound? Very stupid. Well, let me put you guys on to what was going on. Shaggy K was doing an interview with Gay from Honor Radar, and he was asked how he was able to get the record with Kodak. And Shaq said it was through his label, and he said he didn't get to meet Kodak, though, but they were, the label put the, the record together. Everyone took that as a cosign, being that Kodak is a superstar in his industry and Shaq EK is a rising star. All the blogs, including me, were quick to pick it up. That didn't make 22 G's too happy, and I don't understand why, because it seemed like they both from different barrels. But it looked like there's some street potches going on between the two. I even see Nick, I said Nick, RP Nick, I meant Nas Blicky comment on it. Now, the reason 22 G's plays a role in Shaq EK and Kodak having issues is because 22 G's is son to Kodak. And I guess 22 g started being funny in the last couple of days towards Kodak when he heard that he had a record with Shaq. He went as far as posting Jack Boy's new music and everybody knows Jack Boy and Kodak black situation. But anyways, Kodak finally caught on to what was going on and said that verse was originally for Dave East and Dave East never used it because of the situation with Lower London and he didn't want to face back last by doing a record with Kodak. Kodak then said he didn't want to be a part of that problem between 22 G's and Shaggy K but he was 100% rolling with uh, 22 G's. Shaggy K didn't take that on the Shaggy K didn't take that light because he went on he went on live and banned Kodak from coming to New York City. And then ever since then it's seen like 22 G's and Shaggy K have been trading shots at each other on, on Instagram story. I ain't gonna lie. When you think about this whole situation, how I just broke it down, it's very, very stupid what they got going on right now, bro. Let's think about it. 22 G's is from Brooklyn. Shaggy K is from the Bronx. 
and Kodak Black's from Purple Mar- I don't know, I don't want to butcher the word, but Purple Mar- or Florida or something like that. It's somewhere around that. And you guys have never made each other. You guys have never ran into each other, none of that before, I think, I think. And you guys are beefing over somebody doing a record with someone. Think about it. You guys are beefing over someone doing a record with someone. And you guys never made each other. You guys don't got no dead homies between the two. Well, according to Shaggy K, you don't got no dead homies between the two. And you stopping this guy's motion between two Gs. You got, I'm not saying y'all got to be cool, but in the, at the end of the day, this is a business. Remember that. This is a business. Everybody you do business with, is not, is not, you're not going to like. But it's very dumb, bro. Y'all putting your life, your life and freedom at jeopardy. Because now when Shaggy K go to Florida, he got worried about, okay, quarter black people coming at me. Now when Kodak come to uh, New York City, he got worried about, oh, Shaggy K people coming at me. Because you guys are both the breadwinners of y'all team. People will crash out for y'all. I just want y'all to be a little bit smart. It's very dumb what's going on. And I hope somebody's able to put a phone call through and squash the beef in between Shaggy K and 22G. Because they from two different bros. There should be no reason they beefing each other, bro. If anything, it's not money for both of them because y'all both make the same type of music. And now promoters can't put you on the same face card because y'all got to issue each other. Y'all only stop your money. Y'all got to move smarter than that. But yeah, it's your boy Ball of Best and he out.